So one more time. And now from here, I'm gonna face the camera. <coughs> Pardon me. And let's start with our weights down beside us. And we're gonna lift our arms, shoulder height, and then down. So I want you to think about, try not to let them go. I don't want them to go all the way up because that's gonna be a, a totally different exercise. So you're just gonna start with them down and let's lift. And as you're lifting, make sure that your core is engaged, that your feet are firmly grounded. And what I mean by that is you might even step your feet apart. If you're seated, allow your sits bones or your hip bones to be grounded on whatever you're sitting, whether it's in a chair or whether you're seated um, on your mat. Let's take it up for two and one. Now this time I want you to bring your arms down in front of you and start with them on, like my hands are literally touching the tops of my thighs. And I want you to lift them up again, shoulder height and down and lift. Are you breathing? Make sure that you're staying hydrated. So if you need to pause the video, then please get a drink. And lift for four, three, two, and one. Now lower them down. Now we're gonna create a pattern here. So we're gonna start with them side, down, and then front. So, and again, reminder, reminder if it's too, heavy with the weights that you have, or I'm going too fast, slow your motions down. Now in the camera, it looks like my arms are going higher than my shoulders, and they're not. I just want to say that because I, um, I'm very specific about what we're doing. And now let's take it side, and then front, and then side. This is the last time, and then front. Now this next one is called offering. So you're gonna turn the palms up. So if you're not familiar with Pilates, this is just an exercise, and that's the name of it. So you're gonna start with your hands. I'm gonna walk a little closer. And I want your hands open, and they're gonna start at your sides, and again, lifting shoulder height, but you're making a letter B. So it's not taking your arms out to the side, it's bringing them more up on a diagonal and then lower them down. And let's lift and lower and smile. You're doing it, We're, I'm gonna just call this a little arm movement workout here. So it's not gonna be long. And let's lift for four, three, two, and one. Now keep your hands beside you. We're gonna go right into bicep curls. So you're just gonna bicep curl. And now it's really, I want you to think about squeezing the muscle on the lift. Squeeze and then release when you lower it, your arms down. And we don't even think about this necessarily, but when you're using a smaller weight, a lot of times you can have access to activating those muscles in a different manner. And let's continue to lift for four, three, two, and one. Now, key 